Alright, so today I'll be making this homemade high detailed RV with just some cardboard. This RV would be a great decoration and a great addition to your diorama or model. The RV has plastic windows and it also has an interior with decorations. This RV might look really hard to make but with some patience you'll get it right. So anyways, let's start the tutorial. To make the model, I needed something to refer to for size. So to get a sense of how big I wanted to make the RV, I made a little clay figure that was going to be how tall a human would be. To make the RV, I used cardboard as usual, but since I wanted to make a high realistic model, I didn't want to use high corrugation cardboard. High corrugation cardboard is really thick, but it has a lot of air in between the cardboard. And if you glue those two cardboards together, you'll get like a huge gap that you really don't want. So that's why I'm using this thinner cardboard that you could get out of cereal boxes or other boxes, I don't know. So then I got this Kellogg cereal box and just started cutting it into plates. And depending on what kind of RV you're making, I just shaped the RV with the cardboard. I just used eye measurements and compared them to the clay figure I made. I didn't use a single ruler at all. I didn't mention this before, but I'm actually making an RV replica of an RV my family already owned. Here's an image of it I took, and also this will be the image I'll be using for reference. Since my family owns this RV, it's a lot easier to make because I've been inside of it and I've seen everything. And also, it's a lot more fun replicating something you already own. So right here I cut out the main shape of the RV and also the floor of the RV. I also made sure to make tire holes inside the RV. Then I glued it together with hot glue. As you can see here, I had a lot of problem trying to glue on the cardboard to the other piece of cardboard. This is because I had some really cheap hot glue. Tip, don't get cheap hot glue. While I was making this thing, I realized that there's a problem with making cars or vehicles. The problem is that the RV floor is actually raised above the tires, so it doesn't have a tire sticking through the wall. So I just used a knife to cut open another hole next to the tire holes. Another big problem with modeling vehicles is that it's hard to make curves. Since new cars are getting curvier, it's really hard to replicate that with cardboard. But thankfully my RV is relatively square, but some of the edges are a little curved. So to make that, I just bent the cardboard around the curve that it cut out. But if you're making one of those high-tech modern RVs, then it'll probably be a big hassle. Right now, I just continued to build the shape of the RV. Sometimes if there's gaps, you can just fill it in with hot glue. Now I'm placing the actual floor of the RV. For this, it's important you put the floor over the tire holes. This is how real RVs are also designed. In the space between the bottom of the RV and the actual floor, there's a lot of containers containing water, oil, and gas. Oh, and also poop. Lots of poop. While camping in RVs, you gotta go to a dump where you just pump the poop out. And that poop, it's nasty, man. Anyways, back to the topic. This is something I also forgot. To cut out windows. It would be a lot easier to cut out windows while it was still a flat piece of cardboard, but now it's a lot harder because, well, it's 3D. I just use a knife to cut out the windows, but I should have done it before I built the RV. This is how the finished back of the RV looks like. As you can see, I screwed up on some of the windows because I was dumb. But I crudely fixed it, which now will make the RV look really rough and dirty. Hopefully you don't run into the same problem as I did while making the RV. Alright, so now I'm adding this uh, restroom that's in the back right corner of the RV. Since no one was gonna see inside the restroom, I just made it a boxed in room with the door. To make it look like there's an actual door right there, I cut out a door on the wall and then I glued it back on to show the lines. Then I made a bed by just gluing a bunch of layers of cardboard and then I put it in the back of the RV. Now I was done with most of the RV, now I just had to make the driver's space. 
The front of the RV is a lot harder to make because there's more curves. In the front, I also made sure to cut open the two tire holes. In my RV, the driving space is lower than the actual floor in the rest of the RV, so I had to compensate for that. To make the RV more realistic, I glued on some scraps on the outside of the RV. I do this on my tank making videos too, to show some metal plates and to add some realism. Now I glued on the door and kept it open so people could peer inside. The body of the RV is almost done and ready for painting. Now I detailed and made the roof. To further make it more realistic, I added a vent opening. To tidy up places where the cardboard wasn't cut that well, I used some sandpaper. After the RV was done, I spray painted the whole entire RV with white spray paint. For the RV, you don't have to use spray paint, but spray paint usually makes everything more glossy and smooth. And for making modern vehicles, most modern vehicles are really smooth. But the main reason I painted it with spray paint was because I was too lazy to paint it on my own. But for some parts of the RV, like the inside of the RV, which was a different color from the outside, I had to hand paint it with some acrylic paint. I also hand painted this uh, bottom brown design on the bottom of the RV. But it's probably a bad idea to paint it hand painted because usually designs on RV are usually really straight, so... After that, I started decorating the interior of the RV. To make a mattress for a bed, I just used some cardboard and wrapped a bunch of cloth around it. Then I glued it into place. After making the bed, I realized that the outside of the windows are covered with black, some kind of rubber thingy. So to mimic that, I just painted the outside of the windows black. After that, I kept adding decorations. I started making things like cabinets, tables, and chairs. And then I painted them and glued them into the right place. To make the windows out of plastic, I just got this fruit, um, plastic fruit box. And then I cut out little sheets of clear plastic and just glued them behind the RV. After I was done decorating the inside of the RV, I glued on the top of the roof and the driving space. I also touched up on some places of the RV. I also added a ladder on the back and also repainted the brown spot on the bottom. Last time I painted the brown spot, it was a little bit messy so I tried to make it more straight this time. Now for the harder part. On most RVs, they have these weird designs on the side of the RVs. For my RV, there's just a bunch of brown lines. So to model that, I needed to paint on a straight brown line. So to do this, I used some masking tape and masked off everything but the little line that I wanted to paint. This makes it so that when I paint onto the RV, it makes a straight line with some really smooth edges so then I don't paint on the rest of the RV. And then after that, I'll just peel off the masking tape. Now we're almost done. All we need to add is a little more finer details and, of course, the tires. To make the tires, I just glued on a bunch of layers of cardboard in a circle. Then I cut a hole into the topmost layer to simulate the metal rim or something. I don't know what it's called. Then I painted the tires and glued them on with super glue. When you make the tires, you gotta make sure the tires are as big as the tire holes. If they aren't, then there's really nothing to glue the tires onto. After that, I added a metal bumper on the front of the RV. I also used paint to paint on some headlights. Then I added more minor details, such as branding and some mirrors. The branding was made with a sharp sharpie and some good penmanship. And after all that work, you're basically done. And to show off how good the RV looks, I brought it to the beach with me.
Overall, this RV would be a really good decoration and to impress your friends. If you want to see more tutorials like this, you can just subscribe to Nim Productions. And finally, thank you all for watching.